What's going on, Lions fans? I'm Michael Mullenix. I'm Kay Thompson. And you're watching Inside the Pride. We wanted to start this week off with Peyton Law, who has had some electrifying dunks here in his time at Freed Hardman. We've put together a highlight reel of all of his throwdowns over the course of his FHU career. Here it is. Exciting stuff right there, but let's catch you up now on what happened this past week in FHU sports. Men's basketball finishing up their time at the Battle at the Beach day two here. This one going to be stolen away by Quan Lax. Quan Lax, like any good point guard does, surveys the floor, drives in, feeds Sam Powell for the end one. Lions go up six here in the first half. Late second half here, Lions needing a quick shot here early. J.J. Wheatfield's over to Phil Horton, and from way downtown, we'll knock it down. Lions pull within five. After the turnover by Sagu, Quan Lax takes this one in for the and one. Lax will knock down the free throw to bring it within two, but unfortunately for the Lions, Sagu will take this one 74-71 to end the battle at the beach. Lions basketball got right back to action after Thanksgiving by traveling to Kingsport, Tennessee to play in the show. Their first game saw them take on the one-loss WVU Tech Golden Bears in an attempt to get their sixth win of the season. Off the inbounding play, a perfectly executed pass and alley-oop finish from Peyton Law and Hunter Skurlock as they combined for the two. A first career double-double from J.J. Wheat helped the Lions pull out the victory by a score of 69-60. Geraldo Lane and Hunter Skurlock also played a big part in the effort with their 15 points and 7 steals, respectively. Lions in action again on day two of the show in Kingsport. Lions off to a hot start here off of the turnover, and Geraldo Lane will throw this one down. He was player of the week this week in the Mid-South Conference, and he is going to show it again right here off of another slam. Lane 16 points on the day, along with J.J. Wheat, who knocks down a clutch mid-game three to break the tie here. Bluefield trying to gain the lead, but Phil Horton sends that one away. Lions defense in clutch time was key as they pick up the 73-66 win and go 3-1 on the Thanksgiving break against a talented slate of teams. A lot of action this week for FHU Athletics, starting with women's basketball as they take on Simmons as part of the Rosa Stokes Classic. And then following that up, the Lady Lions will be in action at the Rosa Stokes Classic Day 2 as they'll be taking on Campbellsville Harrodsburg to close up the weekend. And then closing things up here at Freed Hardman, men's basketball will be in action right here in Henderson as they will take on Fisk in a non-conference matchup. That's going to do it for this week's episode. So until next time, I'm Michael Molinix. I'm Kay Thompson. And you've been watching Inside the Pride. We want to thank you for watching Inside the Pride. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Lion Digital Network uh, channel on YouTube. 
We also want to encourage you to go to at FHU Lions and uh, make sure that you follow us on every social media platform. And finally, if you're interested in supporting us through Lion Backers or Director Circle, uh, there's an informational video and there's also a link in the description below. We'd, we'd invite you to go check that out. Thanks for tuning in today. Go Lions! Thank you.